with what you're saying right here on November 18th, the Nevada State Athletic Commission informed UFC and Mentors coach James Krause that Krause's license was suspended and would remain so while the Nevada State Athletic Commission conducted an investigation in the matter. That is completely separate from what the UFC is doing. And this is where there's so much to this story. There's so much to what's going on with this. There is so many levels because this isn't, you know, everyone's going to look at this and go, oh, it's, you know, the UFC did this, UFC did that. That's, that's one element that he's got to deal with. And the UFC has told all fighters that are under James Krause that at this time they will not be given any fights if that is the person that they want in their corner for their fights. They will, wow. they're not allowed to compete in the UFC. So they, those fighters either have to go to a different gym, get a different trainer. They cannot be fighting out of glory MMA. And so that, that's a huge blow for those fighters as far as, you know, their comfort level and everything that, you know, is the norm for them. It's all being just blown apart. For James Krause, it's a huge blow as far as, you know, they're bas- they're functionally taking away his ability to make a living. Yep. And when you, you take it and, and the UFC is doing that in part by saying none of your fighters are going to be allowed to compete until this investigation is over. Now the Nevada State Athletic Commission is imparting a suspension upon James Krause. And this is where it goes beyond this is most athletic commissions. When they look at either a fighter or a trainer and another commission has that trainer under suspension, every other commission will follow that suspension. Meaning that James Krause, even in a small show in his home state of Missouri, might not be able to be in the corner of any of his fighters. That is a, a, he's got some big problems going on right now. (laughs) Like we haven't even like, Oh, I haven't even touched on something. Yeah, exactly. We're not like, we're not media. So we're not, we don't dig into this shit, but I can tell you guys, I'll tell you what I do know. Uh, not what I do know. I can't tell you everything I know yeah. because that's it. They, uh, we're not media. We don't do that. <laughs> I just, he's, he's in for a lot, man. I mean, he's looking at, he's looking at some serious jail time. You, he could be looking at actual, yeah. what people don't realize is th- there's, there's elements of this that are actually considered. Um, it, it, it goes under the Rico act. Hmm. Okay. It's racketeering. Because you are taking <laughs> information that you it's like it's like insider trading if you want to talk about that with you know the uh, stock market or something. And All he's got to do is ask Nancy Pelosi how she gets away with it. There you go. <laughs> uh, there's there's elements of fraud that are part of this. Yeah, the, there are legal elements here that James Kraus could end up in a position where he is. He's functionally fighting for his freedom. Yeah, he's, is, he's going to be not. This is this is not a small time thing. This is huge. Yeah, well, this people... will be the big Josh. This will be the biggest story in the year of twenty twenty two. When you when it all clears out, this is going to be the biggest thing that hits because it's got the most impact on the entire sport. It's got an impact that goes way beyond the UFC. I don't even know if it's going to, it's, yeah, it's going to go into other sports. Oh, it's yeah. Gonna go into, it's going to go into football, baseball, basketball, because they're all getting into this right now with uh, gambling being legalized in the state of California and other states as well. That They're really going to make a push to make sure that athletes can't gamble on themselves, whether it's boxing, whether it's football players. They're going to cut all that out right well, away. You know, and then, But that's already kind of, you know, you baseball's had their, their scandals with, with gambling. You know, Pete Rose, if you're going to – Take a look at that, Mm -hmm. you know, go all the way back to the 1919, you know, White Sox with, you know, uh, Rothstein and what he did and stuff. 
there's all of that that's there. The NFL has had its problems and had certain players that they, you know, basically banned, you know, over gam- gambling is something that can ruin the integrity of a sport quickly. And the, this whole situation, you know, and James has been on, you know, other shows. He was on Ariel's show, I know, and talked about how much, he, you know, he has that whole discord where people pay him money to give information on who they should bet on who they should bet on for fights, you know, and there's, there's a lot there that, you know, he's already put yeah. out that, you know, I'm just saying investigators, yeah. trust me, they're taking all of it, all of it. They're, they're not just taking like what he said on that type of stuff. They've oh, gone no, in and confiscated his iPads, his computers, oh, his cell phones, all of it. his records. And then if you are someone like Minner, they're doing the same thing to you. They're saying, hey, Litter's we need your done. phone. Yeah, we need your phone. We need your I'm records. Not, we need your laptop. I, we need everything from you as well. I, I know that Derek Minner got cut by the UFC. Stand by. No one's going to give him a contract now. No. Because, you know? John, yeah, but yeah, once you throw a fight, you're done. Yeah. You're, like you, you should be done, but I pretty much every organization, every every good, no one's gonna watch you. Is you like fucking not using that guy? Yeah. No way. So it just it goes beyond all of that though to the point where it's gonna trickle down. There's gonna be people, and from what from what I'm understanding is there's already people in his gym that have been contacted by the FBI that are knocking on their door, going, "Hey." We heard that you were part of like this and you put some money down. Oh, we heard that you were part of this too. And they, they're oh, yeah, ratting they on that. each other. They're ratting on each other already. Uh, and so yeah, it's going to be a matter of time before everyone starts, you know, basically turning each other in and going, well, this, is gonna, get, this is going to get nasty. This is going to get, get nasty. real nasty. 100% agree. 